Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go as... I don't actually know who we're going to go as here. Uh, let's go as Rebel because we haven't done Rebel in uh, Rogue, sorry, in a long while. That's Rebel. This is Rogue. Uh, we'll do Rogue. We haven't done Rogue in a while. Uh, in fact, we've not unlocked like anything for her at all. Um, but we'll give her a go and see what we can get done. Uh, I don't particularly like this character because she doesn't... Um, she doesn't get rad canisters, which I find just abysmal. Um, but, and she also gets cops as well. She's, she's overall just a terrible character in my opinion, but we ought to at least give her a go and try out a little run as a why not. That's another reason I absolutely despise this character. <laughs> why isn't she immune to her own goddamn explosion? It just makes, like, your entire gimmick is that explosion. Make me immune to it. <laughs> It's so silly that I'm not. Like, I realize it's easy to avoid, but in the in the happen sense that I do end up getting hit by it, I really don't think I should be taking damage from it. Ooh, is this a... This is really cool. This is a micro... Micro plasma gun. I like the idea behind that. Well, like that. It didn't even kill that thing. Oh, this thing... This thing slaps, boy. This thing slaps. Excuse... That man is so strong. What the hell? Okay, we did get a rad canister there as well, which I'm a bit confused about. Normally you don't get them as this character, do you? Either way, let's continue on, and I'm pretty happy with this. If I could get the um, the mutation that boosts my uh, energy damage, I'd be very, very happy. For now, though, I'll just go with trigger fingers. Obviously, the damage isn't super, super high, which is why I want the extra energy damage, but this is a really cool weapon. I don't think I've seen an uh, energy weapon that's direct like this before. These guys don't even give rads. Lovely stuff. I mean, it's good enough to kill these guys in one hit, which is nice. Okay, we are getting rad canisters. Maybe that's changed with this mod. So we never normally get rad canisters, and that's another big thing that I don't like about this character. So if that's sorted, then that does alleviate some of my worry. Not all of it, but there you go. Energy brain. I think that's going to be pretty good with this setup. Yeah, get out of here, you. I'm going to destroy that first as well. Lovely stuff. With trigger fingers, this is going to be pretty good. Charge burr. I think I'll take the charge burr. Thank you. That could be very, very nice. Good thing is as well, we do have an automatic way to get to pizza sewers here, which is kind of nice. Get out of here, you. No! I didn't... Didn't even actually end up going to pizza sewers. My bad. Very much my bad. But yeah, I'm wondering if we can get, like, scarier face and a bunch of other stuff and just absolutely beef the hell out of this weapon. That would be pretty fun. So just make this thing an absolute god tier weapon. Another good thing about the uh, airstrike is I suppose you can use like open lanes, open paths sort of to different areas that are a bit more easily, which is nice. Yeah, this thing is two-shotting now. We do have the charge bow as well, which we can utilize for some extra damage. I thought the regular bow was a charge up anyway, so why is it the charge bow? Um, let's take Rhino skin for now. It does like multiple ticks of damage, I think. I'm taking some bad damage here. It's not doing a great job against these guys right now, though. It's good enough. We definitely need some of those items like um, elbows and stuff. Flexible elbows, is it called? I can't, I can't remember which one it is now. Oh no, it's ecstatic like fists, isn't it? The fists one we want for the bonus 35% damage at maximum HP. Yeah, can you not, good sir? Can you not? Oh, we're out of ammo there. I would like that health, please. That got a bit risky there, but I just kind of ran in and hurt for the best. Might die here if I'm not careful. 
Especially with this big boy around. Okay, I think we killed him. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Get out of here. That's a lot of extra HP there. Lovely stuff. Okay, come on. Give me give me the fists. Give me the fists. I'm gonna go with patience to try and get the fists, because I, I really want to make this work. Especially if we get like a different energy weapon that's even better. Probably some of the highest damage you can do in the game. I managed to dodge that guy just about. Um, oh, are you shooting enemies for me? I didn't know that was a thing. It's kind of nice of you. There you go. Opened up a little extra area for us here to sneak on through. Oh, god damn it. And he's all over me. I don't know how I'm dodging some of this, to be honest. Just about dodging. It's not going great. Do you know what would be a really interesting mutation? Something that just gives like a low chance for like a random double shot. Like a really, I don't know, like 10% chance that you, when you fire, you fire twice or something like that. Maybe 10% is a bit low. I don't know what would be fair. Okay, I really don't like this situation right now. There is an insane amount of enemies in that area over there. We need the HP. We need the uh, ammo as well. Let me go. Get out of here. Well, that was hectic as shit, my god. Um, oh, damn, we don't really have anything super useful here. Guess I'll take that. Glass arm, that's good. I'll take that. Yeah, with the more damage, this is this is going well. It's not perfect. Damn you. Can't believe you dodged that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy split up into more himself. Almost killed myself there as well. Lovely. SMG, a little bit late for that. Don't you think, game? Also, grenade launcher sounds... Very spooky, but probably quite high in damage. Lovely. I do like doing this where I find like a good weapon early on and just try and stick with it for as long as I can. It's not always the 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 best method of playing the game. Don't know how I wasn't hit there, I'll be honest. There you go, lovely stuff. Give me the fists, please. Give me the fists. I'm not killing these guys in one hit, which doesn't bode super well. I was kind of hoping we'd be at the damage now with a glass arm. We'd be killing these guys in one hit, but apparently we're going to need the fists for that too. Isn't ideal. Especially when I'm taking this much goddamn damage. Holy shit, there is a lot going on down there. I mean, he's just shooting stuff for us, which is kind of nice. Yeah, that didn't end up working out too well, did it? I stuck with that weapon for far too long. I was just really hoping. I like to get, like, a bunch of extra damage and then um, wail on wail on enemies with, like, a low-level weapon that's just fun to use, and that was definitely one of those. Small missile bomb. This thing can be a bit sketchy, but I do quite like it. Yeah. It's very, very sketchy, but for a low-level weapon, it's kind of, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty cool idea. Um, take Rhino Skin again in case we get Glass Arm. Rhino Skin just kind of facilitates that. Obviously, the thing is with this, it's just super easy to end up hitting yourself. But at the same time, the, the rockets do seem to somewhat auto-aim, as you can see. It's not completely, like, random, so... We are getting some extra out of it. You just got to be really careful you don't end up hitting yourself because it's incredibly easy to do so. <laughs> Especially in these tight spaces. You kind of got to be around a bunch of other enemies when you fire it off. You want to be completely safe because then it'll home in on said other enemies. Or like that where it's like close enough to a wall that it'll instantly detonate and not dense gun. I've never seen this before. I mean, it seems very good for a quality zero. It's piercing. This thing seems amazing for a quality zero. Is this meant to be quality zero? Doesn't feel like it is. This thing's amazing. I'll take a dense gun any day. 
Grab scary face. I, I always want to go for like the, the max damage build now because I think they're just fun. The, the, like, defense is obviously better, I think, in this game. But, like, max damage builds can also be very, very good. I really don't like this. Trying my best to stay out the way of everything if I can. This is one-shotting a lot of stuff here, so... Cannot complain. Right, we actually got that this time. Oh, we can go straight through. Nice. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't really know what to go for here. Maybe Tough Shell? Yeah, I'll take that. So, Golden Weapon to have, which is just nice. But on top of that, still, still these guys are broken. But yeah, on the other side, we can actually go through here now. My god, that guy was frustrating. Right. Just take a back seat here. Do what we can. Yeah, basically do what we can until he shows up and then fucking get out of here. I do not want him sucking me. No thank you. Right, unfortunately, ammo is pretty dire at the moment, so we are going to probably face some issues. Because this thing, that's the, probably why it's quality zero, to be honest. It just chews through ammo so quickly. It's kind of nice that the police kind of work alongside us. I don't know if that's a, a feature of specifically this character. It, it's ten bullets per shot. That is a lot. Right. Golden shotgun, honestly not great. That didn't... This is what I'm talking... What the hell? It's terrible. Didn't even kill those guys. Okay. We is through. Unfortunately, still not what we're looking for. I'll take Power Craving, though. I'm loving the fact that this thing has piercing. We're able to do so much with it. The DPS output is off the chain. Off the chain is something I haven't said in a long while. Or ever. Okay. So now we're in the, we're in the thick of it. Luckily, the screwdriver isn't actually that bad. We are able to uh, get ourselves up to a point where we got some good ammo. Trying my best to, to clear out the pack. Obviously, at the minute, we, we actually can't get rid of our screwdriver. Don't touch me, my guy. My guy. I'm going to need you to get out of the mix as well, my guy. Okay. Climb through. I do apologize if you hear that email notification. I need to turn that off at some point. Right, are we good? Are we good? That hit literally nothing. Okay. We made our way through. Let's try and change up our weapons soon. Damn, it's still not what I want. We'll take puffy cheeks here. No way, that should have hit me. Oh my lord, I'm just getting absolutely slapped right now. Blood launcher? Could blood launcher be what we need? I, 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 I genuinely have zero idea what hit me there. <laughs> I think one of those guys spawned on me. The police, man. Get him out of here. They're too damn strong. We got the Trop Gun. I don't know what the Trop Gun is. It seems good. It 
seems pretty good. It's like the assault rifle mixed with the, uh, like machine gun, sorry, mixed with the, the pop rifle. Not quite sure where the trop gun name comes from, but I'll take it. See, now that's, that's where it comes into its own right there. We'll take the inversion magnet as well while we're here. I do like the exploding on contact thing. That's kind of nice. We'll take that again, and we'll take that again. Micro assault rifle, the... Oh my god, yes. I've got to take the micro assault rifle. The micro weapons just feel so good to use. They may not be the strongest, but man, they feel so satisfying. I mean, they do also do pretty, like, pretty good damage for what they are. And I think they seem to have a bit of piercing on them too, which is obviously quite nice. Bugger off. Luckily, we're pretty immune to all these hits that are coming at us right now. Um, I'm gonna go with Tails End with this and see if it see if it like perks it up a little bit. Yeah, it does. More damage per burst is, of course, very nice for us. Does obviously use more ammo, I think. Oh, actually, no, no, it doesn't. I, I keep forgetting that. It just strictly makes it better. It's a very, very good weapon specific thing. But still, explosive weapons don't have anything unique. And don't you dare say that boiling veins is unique to explosive weapons. It's not weapon specific. Explosions happen everywhere. That's just a general mute, mute I think. I wouldn't class it as one specific to uh, explosive weapons. Every other weapon style has them. Right, inverted floor here. Let's go. Up to level 5 as well. Thrown but stronger portal strike, more uh, ammo spawns. I just don't care. Um, I will take this. Got to be very careful of the, um... Oh god, damn. Ah, oh, my, I'm probably dead here. That got out of hand very quickly. Okay. We, we might die here. I'm trying my best. I'm fighting for my life, but... I have to say, I'm not convinced. You, I'm, I loved that run, you absolute dickhole. Oh, man. G by the way, just, just to the developer, are the micro weapons, like, do they have the ability to be golden? Because they are, like, low quality. If they don't have the ability to be golden, I, I beg of you, please. <laughs> They're so fun. They're by far my favorite weapons in the game, and that, like, like in generic weapons in the game. Obviously, there's a lot more unique weapons out there, but in terms of the sort of more generic assault rifles and such, they're by far my favorite, and I'd love to get some of them gold. They might, they might already be gold, I just haven't found them yet. But they are newish, so I'm wondering if maybe they're not. Conversion Magnet once again. Right, can I actually get my damage build going this time? It seems to... Oh, we got it again, there you go. Um, dude, why is my damage things, please? Wait. Oh, it was just trigger fingers. I was like, why did it fire really fast? Then? I think it was just trigger fingers. Stuff. Come on now, game. Give me my damage build, please. There you go. There's the fists, baby. I mean, glass arm is also there, but I think fist is the better one. Even though it's conditional, the damage it provides is higher. Do those guys always drop a bomb when they die? It seems like they do. Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell? I've never seen that enemy do that before. This is another reason Rogue sucks, but, like, why do I want those guys doing that sort of shit <laughs> on the early stages? 
Like, I haven't got enough to stress about. Another inverted floor here, lovely. Straight in, I guess. Right, stay out the way of the the annoying guys that fire up big froggy shots. The rats are so much faster on this stage, it's insane. Yeah, they're really hard to kill before they actually get a chance to run into you. We're doing okay though, we're doing okay. Okay. Just about did it there, my god. Um, scarier faces here. Triple machine guns here as well. This is too much, man. Why are you there? Get out of that corner, you dick. Goddamn stressing me out. Scary face is wild, man. It can do some crazy damage. I think this um this splinter thing is making it do even more insane damage than it normally would as well. Golden crossbow, that's a great one. Right. Go through here because then we get an extra golden chest. Um and then we can take the we can this is obviously risky because it puts our health a bit low. But it puts our damage very high. It makes, like I said, it makes weapons like this that I love using just super vile. And I don't have to worry about changing weapons until like later in the game. It's a very bad hit by me. Lovely. Okay, get out of here. And then we can take Rhino Skin to, to bolster our health again. And we are killing it, baby. I see. Oh, what? The, there's so many of these. What the fuck? the most of them I've ever seen. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, you two. No thanks. Give me that ammo. Lovely. I know it's a risk, but I'm going inverted. Man, look at that. That guy still got to me. Need to get back up to maximum HP. Just gotta search for the invisible guys as well. Frost, very good to add on to this. E, there you go, max HP. Beautiful stuff. Okay, this this could be bad for us here. This this is such a difficult version of this boss. I mean, we have good uh, damage, so we should be mostly okay. Yeah, I mean, look at that. No worries whatsoever. Was that a mimic? Literally a mimic. Instantly as I entered the room. Great. But yeah, just look what having like the full damage build can do to a run. It can turn this gun, which is of quality low, I can't remember what quality it is, I think it's quality 2? It's quality 0. It's a quality 0 weapon. Which I, I don't I don't really think it's supposed to be quality 0, I'll be honest. I'd, I'd way more classify these things as like, quality sort of 3 or 4. Uh, Throne, but Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye would kind of be good. Accuracy on this thing's not great. Right, careful of the the through wall shots. This is going to be horrible. Unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to sacrifice a lot of rads here to make this work. Is 
because there's just so many various types of missiles and so forth that can so easily kill us here. Oh, damn it, we've got the boss and we've not got a lot of HP to work with here. Unfortunately, the inverted version of this guy as well, I barely know. Luckily, we got through it. Get out of here, you. Okay. So far, so good. I'm liking the uh, slight homing I'm gaining from uh, Eagle Eyes. That seems to be big right now. This is bullshit. This is, this is some bullshit. Fucking go away. Oh my god, those enemies would not leave me alone. Goddamn police, man. Chill. The fucking police. It's insane. Leave it be. Look, this is just silly. There's so many of them. <laughs> There's no need. Shall I go inverted or go through here? I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go and take... Okay, let's have a look what we're going to take here. First of all, let's take this. And we'll go and take the crown where we can get some ultra chests going. Oh, really? You have to ruin it, don't you? Right. Ultra chests. Splinter crash. Kind of interesting. I'll take it. With the extra accuracy, I think Crash makes it fire in a cone in front of us rather than all directions. Which is kind of nice. Get your little feeties out. Come on, let's go. Wow. That was an insanely fast kill. And then in here, I don't really know what to take at this point. Puffy Cheeks would be kind of interesting, maybe. Bloodlust could be good. I'm going to go with Puffy Cheeks, though. Yeah, that's this, this weapon's pretty nuts. <laughs> Glad I took this. Trigger fingers should really pay dividends here. Police truck did not go where I expected it to at all. Right, just try and be careful. Try and stay at full HP whenever we can, if plausible. Didn't quite get the level up there that I was hoping for, but it's okay. Careful of the truck coming in. Man, this thing is nuts. The crash with the eagle eyes is uh, very, very good. Oh, we got the worm guy. I don't really remember what this guy does. He might kill me, to be honest. I just don't know him very well. Luckily, he did not. That was kind of sketchy, but we got there. Okay, ultra time. Right. Double portal strike ammo max. Enemies can use portal strike ammo. Um, using portal strike heals you. Double, um, double by picking up portal strike ammo triggers blast armor. 
super strong blast armor. Blast armor becomes stronger the more it triggers in each area. Picking up a portal strike ammo triggers um, armor blast. At the start of each stage, summon a group of IDPD that fight for you and repeat each time you pick up a portal strike ammo. Picking up portal strike ammo triggers blast armor. Ultra weapons cost 30% less rads. Portal strike costs rads instead. Uh, replace portal strike ammo chests with rad canisters. Blast armor produces rads. Rads spawn ultra lightning. I like the rads spawn ultra lightning part of that. Yeah, the ultra lightning part of that specifically is is what I'm uh, what I'm into here, and it seems good. Seems good to me so far. I'm seeing a lot of lightning going on. I'll tell you that. Okay, but are we good? Do not want any of that. Thank you. Yeah, no thanks. Look at that, 72 damage on the first hit. That's, uh, that's all from, um, what's it called, that is, um, Scary Face. Scary Face is just nuts. The chain reaction from this Ultra, um, Ultra Lightning is, is very, very nice. Let's try and take out the, the rest of the big bads before we get to the boss. I took a lot of damage there, but I think it's okay. Okay, I think we got her. Dude, are you kidding me? I went for that goddamn HP because I saw it just sitting there. And there was a fucking frog underneath her. Anyways, that was a really fun run nonetheless. I hope those become golden weapons. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.